I will need my work table. All right, let's do. Let's go. Damn it! I need something. Box of perfumes. Let's get to work. I must analyze these perfumes. Okay, here we go with another puzzle, and it is simply a puzzle. Put the pieces together to make the solution. Um, this is a little embarrassing, though, because it actually took me a bit of a long time because I couldn't figure out how to start it. Uh, what you're going to have to do is you have to click on the little ta uh, white tabs, which I guess are like smell tabs or something, and then click one of those on the perfume bottles, and that will give you your scent diagram that you are trying to make, I guess. But it actually took me an embarrassingly long amount of time to actually click the scent tabs on the bottles, because I kept trying to click on the bottles, and I kept, kept thinking that you'd use the scent tabs to sort of blend together the puzzle pieces, because I could not interact with them at all. But, uh, yeah, as soon as you get that, it's really quite easy, what? because it's a very they're very simple puzzles, and you can tell almost automatically what pieces are being used. So, not a bad puzzle, it just took me a little while to get it started. There we go. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. These shapes represent the smells at my disposal. Okay... Now I can interact with it. Excellent, now on to the next step. Okay, I get it. I gotta use one of these tab things to select it, and then I gotta recreate it. Okay, so what's the uh, result? Bad. Okay. All right, I get what this is now. It's just a this is the basic picture maker. Um. That's about right. No, it's not it, is it? It looks right, though. It's not it, though. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this one. Nope, that's not it. The dog musk? What dog? Wait, dog musk? That's a f scent? I have a feeling this one's not gonna work. Just a feeling, Excellent. though. Excellent. Now onto the next step. Wait, dog musk, anise oil, and colander oil actually makes an average result. Tested perfume swamp water. Wow. Okay, so this puzzle is actually pretty easy once you figure out how to interact with it. Nope, that's not, that's not it. Uh, lavender. Lavender and... Elementary. Fine. Didn't I get a chance to see what that was. Possible. Okay. Didn't get a chance to see what that last one was, but it all looked okay. But seriously, dog musk makes an average perfume? Damn it. Here we go. Back to Whitechapel. Uh, brothel. Okay, well that was a pretty simple Fine. puzzle. Enjoyable. To the brothel. Yes, you do. Hmm. I have nothing to ask. Out of the way, I don't like the look of you. Meh. Okay, here we go. Madame. So, my dear man, have you reached a verdict? I have to steal Murder. The perfumes from the bad, but even the good ones are nothing more than common sense for adolescents. <laughs> Who cares? It'll freshen up a few of my girls. Wait, there's a perfume here called Valerian. What is it? A disease. Really a perfume, technically speaking, unless you like cats. It's more of a kind of medicine. It smells strange. I don't really like it. 
Here, I can give it to you. Awesome. And I have some information. Is most <laughs> I got an idea for that. He looked up at the police station hereabouts. It would also seem that he's the one who doesn't want to come out. Really? Do you know someone by the name of Danny? Danny boy! Danny Nutcracker? Huh, the one who hates cats? That's the one. You're interested in that kind of bird? Oh, be like dipping your biscuit in a pig's trough. <laughs> She's dangerous, a real cyclone. So beware. And her appearance. She claims to adore perfumes. <laughs> She'd need this whole box to smell sweet. I doubt it'll take much to make Danny cooperate. Uh, perhaps by offering her a little gift. Oh, to revenge stick. shall be sweet. Against that monster. Open the door, Holmes. Hello, whores. Hello, slightly better dressed whore. Hello, boy. Hello, rabbi. And hello, monster. Knife it! You still. I'll be back. You do that. My god, this thing! No, I don't think the knife would penetrate through all that fat. Seriously, that's like a plus five natural armor bonus. Alright, let's. Yeah, try this. Do you remember me? Would you be kind enough to help me by telling me how many policemen are inside in exchange for this bottle of perfume? Perfume! This is perfume. He's got a funny look on his face. Me, I want a pretty bottle with a button so that I can spray it all over myself. Got it? All right, all right, all right, all right. You want to use the perfume atomizer with the thingamajigger. If I could just remember how to get there. Here we go. Here we go. There you are. Do you remember me? Would you be... A real perfume bottle. There ain't much in the station. It was pretty busy, but now there's only one constable, dearie. There we are. Now Danny has been sprayed with valerian, a scent that's irresistible to cats. I'm a diversion in the street to make the policeman come out, but I need some cats. Lots of cats. To the pet shop. Awesome! Back to my Jewish friends. Jewish friends who have never let me down before. To the pet shop. Oh, Danny boy, the cats, the cats are coming! What can I do for you? Cats, now. How's Bert doing? How's Bert doing? Uh, he'll pull through. But he must eat, and I have no food for him here. We will need to find him some. And where can we get some cat food? Rats! We must find Hardiman. He sells meat for cats. It's around this time when he passes the end of the road. You might be in luck. You'll hear him from far away. He was always calling beep beep. I am a jeep. Mr. Solomonovich. Mr. Solomonovich. Shall we look for the cat food seller? Poor Bert has to be fed, and I might have some work for you and your friends. Oh, it's adorable. Beep beep. I'm a jeep. Beep beep. Beep beep. Hello, Mr. Roadrunner. Beep beep. Good evening, sir. How do? A little kebab for the cat? The cats? They like the meat. Oh, yes, they do. These little brats can't possibly all be yours. Pardon? No, oh, no, none of them. Ah, children. There are pride and joy. They make such and delicious yet... sweet meats. Kebabs? Do cats really like kebabs? They adore them. How many would you like? I'll take the lot. I beg your pardon, sir? How much for the lot? 
for two pounds, they're all yours, my lord. It's a deal. Domo arigato, Mr. Obato. Listen up, my little soldiers. You need to find all the cats in Whitechapel and lead them towards the police station. You'll be armed with delicious kebabs to entice them. Get them <laughs> as you can now. This is going to be great. Can you pounce away from it, though? Are correct, the cats will be seduced by Danny's odor and will throw themselves on her. That should cause enough of a commotion to get the policemen to come out onto the street. This is gonna be awesome! Oh. <laughs> Gentlemen, start your pussies! Children, let the cats alone. Attack my kitties! Fly! Fly! <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> What's all this racket? Calm down! Come on, out! And make those chaps shut up! Well now, let's see what I can do about Squibby. Awesome! Payback's a bitch! Or a pussy. No. That doesn't work. Anyway, onward! Come out, come out, wherever you are. This must be the door that leads to the cells. Oh, wife. What am I doing? Alright. The lockpicking mechanic from Skyrim, this is not. Not entirely sure what I'm doing. How did I do that? How did how did I Oh never mind. I don't know how that worked. I just sort of stopped messing with it and it fixed itself. Hi, buddy. And who are you? I've come to talk to you about Tumblety. So you're here to kill me, are you? No. Absolutely not. I've come on behalf of someone you know who told me you have some explosive news about this American. In exchange, he has settled your bill on the kayaks. The you are kayaks? a street person, you. You're a bobby, trying to wind me up, aren't you? No. Will you agree to talk? Not a chance. I'll give nothing away for nothing. And I don't have to follow Bluto's orders. I'm in it up to my neck. And the bobbies won't agree to keep me locked up here for the rest of my life. You mean to say that you are here of your own accord? Jam right. Only death awaits me out there. I was almost lynched because I was. Where to hide? In the prison! Poor girls who were chopped up like animals. The police put me here for my own safety. That's when this journalist showed up. Journalist? Lupin? A journalist? I socked him once for disrespecting me down at the pub. He said I'd pay for it one day. And that day came. He said he was going to squeal to the papers about me. With my description and my tattoos and all. I was arrested at the same time the police said they'd caught the Whitechapel killer. While waiting to write the article, he started the rumor. Nah, the streets ain't safe for me no more. Ah, oh, I know what he's talking I about. Listen, if I find this journalist and make him promise to not write a word about you, and if I also agree to pay for you to get out of London, will you tell me everything you know about Tumblety? You sure know how to speak to ruffians, don't you? You got yourself a deal. What's the name Fantastic. of the journalist? Bulling. Tom Bulling. Tom Bulling? That name sounds familiar. That wouldn't be the journalist that Watson met at the Wasp's Nest. Huh? Ah, no, nothing. I was just thinking aloud. Sorry, inner monologues got messed up. Have a good day. Well, I'll be going, Squibby. You're right. It ain't healthy here. I shall leave it's healthier than being outside for you. The, station. the police will know what to do with it. I shall leave Pluto's treasure at the station. The police will know what to do with it. Okay. Hey, but what are you up to here, you? Off with you, and make it quick before I take you in. I'm helping you out, dude. Alright. Let's go to the wasp's nest. Let's go to the wasp's Excuse nest. Excuse me, my good man. We don't much like people with your looks around here. Understood. But I look exactly like you guys. 